Greetings and welcome to this training video about custom fields for opportunities. So what the customer can do is when they go to custom fields and they add a field, let's say I want to choose a custom field, I go next and see an object called opportunity. Here they will also have to select a folder. As of now, we have created a default folder called opportunity details. The customer can also create their new folders. I'll come to it later on. But you can create opportunity details, give it the field name, let's say single line text field. And save. So this field gets created. The field is also visible. So if the customer filters by opportunity details, you can see there's a filter called single line text fields. Now, when I come to folders, I actually have two filters here, contact and opportunities. So the customer can click on opportunities and see there's one folder. He can add a folder. The folder name is test folder. Let's say, and then he can select an object. He wants to create it for opportunity. He or she or the customer also created for opportunity. They are able to create it for opportunity and the new test folder is created. Let's go to this test folder and create a field in this text folder as well. Let me again call it single line second field. And because we went into the field and clicked on it in the folder, the folder test folder is already selected. The object is also opportunity because you are in the folder of the opportunity. You save. Now we have created two fields in one folder. Let me show you what happens when you go to opportunities. I select a content. Let's say I create an opportunity for Melissa Sanchez. I can set the contact name, all of that. I don't need to do anything other than that. As soon as I click on create and let's say I want to edit an opportunity. I can now see the first thing that single line text field, the custom field that was created and the customer can input things here and update this with the information that is added. The second thing is you see the folders. So all the folders that you add will actually come one under the other here. So opportunity details were the default. We created a test folder in the test folder is again a single line second field that we had created and the customer can use it to update. We also have this sweet feature of hide empty fields, hide empty fields. If you switch on hide empty fields, it will hide all the fields that don't have a value. So you are focused on the fields that are required for you. You don't care about the fields that are not filled or not required. This is more or less what the customer can do from custom fields, create custom fields, create folders for those custom fields for opportunities, and then edit them, add them here and the customer is able to do it for all the fields that currently exist. So all of these 13 fields can be moved or can be created for an opportunity. Thanks for listening to this video about custom fields for opportunities. For more videos like this, or to make a request for additional training videos please go to the main menu and add a comment ticket.